We all know there's more water on Earth than land. Just in case you don't, the seas cover 71% or 362 million square kilometers of the Earth's surface. And we all know there are five oceans. And just in case you don't, there's the Pacific, that's the big one, the Indian, the Atlantic, the Southern, and the Arctic Ocean, that's the cold one. Now within all that water, around 321,003,271 cubic miles, there exists a plethora of creatures, but one that can barely be seen by the naked eye is arguably the most important of all. Plankton. There are three main groups of these organisms. There's bacterioplankton, made up of bacteria and archaea, that's single-celled microorganisms. There's phytoplankton, which is plant-based. And finally, zooplankton, which are predominantly tiny living animals. They can be as small as 0.2 micrometers, a micrometer being a thousandth of a millimeter. That's smaller than the diameter of a human hair. Now, while plankton may appear to be aimless drifters, directionless in their movement, in life they play a key role and are perhaps the most vital organism on Earth. You see, each and every plankton, or to be more precise, plankta, perform a unique job. And if they were to suddenly disappear, quite frankly, the ocean, the Earth, and us would be stuffed. Without them, the whole marine ecosystem would soon collapse. With no phytoplankton to clear up the waste, the zooplankton have nothing to eat. And with no plankton, what are the small predators going to eat? Oceanic megafauna like dolphins, whales, and sharks with nothing to eat would soon perish. Now, plankton also account for around 20% of all photosynthesis on Earth and around 95% of the recycling of organic matter in the ocean. Yep, without plankton, the oceans would be a barren wasteland of watery nothingness. But it doesn't stop in the water. With the foundation of the food chain gone, seabirds with nothing to eat would soon fall from the sky. Seals, dead through hunger. Polar bears, yep, they're gone as too. And this is where a world without plankton would start to affect us. With around 70% of the human population living within 60 kilometers of the coastline, catching and depending on around 80 million tons of fish per year, no plankton means no fish, no local trade, and economic collapse. No fish with your chips, and ultimately millions of hungry people. Fancy popping out to do the weekly shop in your car? Uh, no. You see, dead and decaying plankton, and their fecal pellets, drift down to the ocean floor and take with them the carbon they contain. Over millions of years, this matter creates the world's oil and gas reserves, so no plankton, no fuel. So your car won't work, factories would fall silent, homes would be powerless, and cities would cease to function. It's not just fuel that would be lost. Plankton use the Earth's solar energy to convert CO2 and nutrients into carbohydrates and the vital molecules we all need to survive. Take a deep breath. No, really, take one. Yep, 50% of the oxygen that just went into your lungs was produced by plankton. So, if you think it's just marine creatures that would be affected if these guys go, think again. The absence of these tiny organisms would be a global catastrophe, which most of us wouldn't survive. Plankton are our planet's unsung heroes, and they, if you ask me, are a pretty good reason to look after our oceans. And if you want to see SpongeBob and Sheldon taking over BBC Earth, then click here. And do remember to subscribe to Earth Unplugged. See you next time.